Hello, everyone. This is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to the One Bitcoin Show. Today is November the 25th, 2018. At least it still is in Denver and Los Angeles and Anchorage in Honolulu. Strong hand. Long-term thinking. Unconfiscatable. Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin. Let's get some conviction going, guys. You know... This game is not rigged, and it's where the big boys play. Check out the links below. Get your T-shirts, your Trezors, all sorts of affiliate links. Right now, I'm wearing a new T-shirt that was sent to me um, by all – what are the guys there at the All Good Lab? The link is uh, – it's uh, below. This is what this shirt looks like. Now, I'm, you know, yesterday's shirt is also, I'm wearing this pin obvi for obvious reasons. I'm going to keep wearing this pin for uh, some time. So it's going to be, it's going to be on all my shirts, but it's not part of this shirt. And I forgot to mention that about yesterday's show. And again, so yeah, all good lab. Um, they, they sent me this in the mail. They're good dudes. They're hipsters in, uh, up in Brooklyn, up in New York. So, uh, yeah, they're in motion. Check. Nice shirt, nice T-shirt. You see the nice B, their symbol. Okay, we're going to continue on. And Arjun tweeted the uh, the following out, and it's a really simple message. All it says is, I'm not going anywhere. And uh, retweet it or just you know write it in your own uh, Twitter feed. I'm TechBalt there, T-E-C-H-B-A-L-T. And disruptmeister.com is that's my archives. Uh, Bitcoin Meister on Steam it. I haven't said that for a while, have I? So yeah, I'm not going anywhere. All there's some people that are. Some people have said some people have raged, quit. I, I haven't been paying close attention <laughs> um, at all today. I didn't know the Bitcoin price until like ten o'clock the night. Uh, so, uh, it, but yes, uh, I, I'm sure there's people quitting all over the place because they value their uh they value their wealth in fiat instead of valuing their wealth in bitcoin like i do and so many others do i still have the same amount of bitcoin that i have and thus i'm not going anywhere and i think i think the uh, strong hand uh holders of last resort should proclaim i'm not going anywhere on social media so there there's my proclamation uh, for, for everyone out there. So another thing I proclaim is pound that like button. Strong hand. Uh, yeah, I went under $4,000 for you fiat freaks. Back into the old 3000 So what, dudes? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Here's some holder of last resort tweet from Alex. So this... Okay, it's linked to below. He said, and thank you for mentioning me in this, dude. Alex Runder. Okay, Adam Meister at TechBalt will either go down with the Bitcoin ship or go down in history as the model for a generation of Bitcoin strong hands. Yeah, man. I, of course I'm going down. The ship isn't going down, but I'm, you know darn well. I'm not going anywhere. So if the shit went down, yeah, I'd be going down with it. Okay. So Bcash, just follow Aaron Vaughn. If you actually care about Bcash still, this is something that, um, oh, it seems like it's totally jumped the shark. Uh, like why, why even care anymore? You know, the, I guess the, the experiment, okay, this is what a hash war lo looks like. This is what a, a social media war looks like. Okay, thank you, Mr. Altcoin. Your value in terms of Bitcoin has just plummeted during this bear market. This is what happens when you fork during a bear market lesson for everyone. And when you fork and you like do it in a really aggressive, 
unfriendly type of way. But I mean, if you want, Aaron Von Weirdom is is still following it on his Twitter feed. He's got a good Twitter feed anyway. Read the entire thing, uh, and he has an article, and uh, it's at Bitcoin Magazine. One week later, latest developments with Bcash split. Yeah, it's a bear market fork disaster. That, that's how I would sum that thing up as. Uh, Quared, uh, Coindesk says uh, that that it's down 30. The Bitcoin price in terms of fiat is down, what, 36%. Uh, at one point in, for the week, it's the worst fiat price uh, percentage loss since April of 2013. Yeah, dudes, this stuff is in the cards, man. We, ex as I've been preaching for a while, you expect like stuff like this. That that's the way it goes. Uh, but there are going to be days where it's like the biggest gain ever, too, in the future. So that's the way I look at it. And there's ne might be some negative fiat drop, right? Negative record fiat drop right now, but we're going to get in the future positive, incredible uh, runs up there. Just got to be patient. Look on the bright side, dudes. Um, but yeah, that's a big article that they... You know, I, I don't even usually mention Coindesk articles, but I'm pretty darn tired. Uh, what, I have to get up in four hours? Less than four hours? Okay. <laughs> it's been a busy week. So... And things all... I, I know I, I really want to email so many people back and answer people's dms and to tell you the truth i had no time to do it today i just i like maybe i sent a couple emails and dms back i'll get to you people be patient i'm, I'm, I'm going to catch up this week hopefully jeremy john he posts the following hard times always reveal true friends likewise bear markets reveal the true believers in bitcoin this bear market is no exception Oh yeah, man. This this bear market has proven that rule right there. Uh, once again, it's weeding out all sorts of people. And then who do you have left? The guys that aren't going anywhere. Proclaim it. You're not going anywhere. And uh, where where's Matt? I want to read Matt's tweet now. I I because it's so appropriate. I was okay. Yeah. So I got to go back. And in that light. Matt Odell says the people calling us idiots today will be the same people whining about it being unfair how much Bitcoin we own in a few years. They will have nobody to blame but themselves. Personal responsibility is a new countercultural plan. Pound that like button. So yeah, true believers, we're not going anywhere right now, but in a few years, people will be calling the people who are calling us idiots for not going for not uh running away uh the, the those same people calling us idiots now will be whining how unfair it is that they they don't have bitcoin so it's, this is the way of the world you know a, the collectivists there are more of them the people who want to blame blame others for their problems when they could uh, fix their problems on their own and they refuse to take personal responsibility you got to find people to blame whoa they got lucky. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here, Hoddle Hoddle has a that, that's that it's supposedly a decentralized exchange, but it's really not. We officially started blocking all US citizens, residents, both by IP and preventing offers for US locations from being credit created. So it doesn't look like Hoddle Hoddle is as awesome for Americans as people were once saying. Check out the thread yourself. You know, why even do these big get on a Bitcoin exchange to get alt? I mean, if you're going to sell, sell your altcoins for Bitcoin, that's pretty cool. Speak, but but I, I don't sell your bit. Don't try to play the game. Don't try to play play the game selling your Bitcoin for altcoins and trying to make it back with Bitcoin. Not a good idea. Can you actually see my eyes close, closing, seeing how much I really want to go to sleep right now? But, dude, I got to make a new show every freaking, freaking, freaking day out there because I'm a holder of last freaking resort. And I'm here through this so-called bear market no matter what happens in my freaking life. Okay? So, uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, that's been the, really the theme of this freaking 
uh, show. And I'm glad Arjun just posted that. Arjun's been on the This Week in Bitcoin show before. I can't even remember who's supposed to be on this Friday show right now. I think Stefan uh, from Australia probably is. I'll have to look that up. I Okay, so there's a, a funny site out there speaking about altcoins. How wrecked are you? Surge.sh. I linked to it below. Compare your favorite coin's performance against Bitcoin. It's actually pretty entertaining. See how much your favorite alt has gone down against Bitcoin. And a few of them have gone up. You can do different time periods. Again, it's easy to use. How wrecked are you? Surge.sh. It is linked to below. So I think we've gotten to the end. For all you people who are in motion, I was thinking uh, a Bitcoin type business that you don't hear about very often. And I don't know how you would put it all together. Like something that involves Bitcoin and uh, the death industry. Because I got to tell you, man, everybody dies. So that's a pretty big industry. <laughs> it's huge, man. There's big markups in it and everything. So uh, Bitcoin, uh, if you, you could somehow intertwine Bitcoin with the, the death industry, uh, and maybe a way to you know, teach widows how to get their uh, husband's Bitcoin that they had left to them. I don't know, you know, classes on preparing for uh, how to best hold your Bitcoin uh, uh, for your loved ones when you die. I mean, there's all sorts of different ways. Coffins you can buy with this Bitcoin. I, I don't know. Bitcoin logos on your coffin. I, 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 I mean, you know, certain people like, I mean, I guess they're jokers with that type of thing. But no, in all seriousness, it's a huge industry. And uh, you don't, uh, you don't, uh, you don't hear, the only thing you really hear about is uh, just, you know, creating a contingency plan to, uh, so your loved ones know how to get your Bitcoin. But you don't really hear about people, you know, creating a business around uh, death and Bitcoin because hey, that it happens to every single person. So there's got to be a way to. I'm just talking off my. Uh, I was thinking about it earlier today. Like, yeah, someone's gonna, could, com, you know, combine this death thing with Bitcoin somehow. You suddenly gonna make a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, there's so many opportunities in this space from uh, t-shirts to to de to death. Uh, yeah, there's all you gotta look on the bright side of things, people. I'm, that's what I'm always doing. So pound that freaking like button, everybody. Uh, click on the squares on the screen there. If uh, is if you're watching this tape, I'm sure they popped up by now. And bang that bell button. I gotta go to sleep. I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video. Check out the link section below. Check out all good. I'll see you guys later.